and hair. So if you've ever wanted to do a live on Facebook, it's so doable, guys. It is so, so doable. I'm going to put, put this up properly so you can see a little better. It's so doable. Basically, I mean, I had to learn. I just kind of used um, YouTube to sort of show me how to set it up. And, you know, I'm still not, it's still not perfect. But, um... It's still not perfect, but it's there, you know. It's there, it's there. And so I'll start here. We're here live on Facebook. I'm just a few minutes early. It's usually going to be at um, 4.30 p.m. today, Eastern. But starting next week um, after Christmas, so starting December 27th and 29th and the following Sunday, because I go live Sunday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, it's going to be at 1 p.m. Eastern. So every day, 1 p.m. Eastern. And I'm just hoping like you could catch parts of this presentation or just kind of jump on even here on, on TikTok, you know, kind of during your lunch if you're, if you're on the East Coast or anywhere in between. Um, you can always catch the replay and, you know, comment in my comments if you're on live or if you're on the replay and that's the beauty of this you know this online um, community we can create for ourselves is that we can kind of catch up and we can still stay relevant and present with the people that we like um, following even if we miss sort of miss the live but again I go live three days a week but today I'm actually going to continue my conversation about, you know, personal finance for women, fierce women over 50. Okay. I'm Elima Hong and I actually talk about personal, um, sorry, passive income and positivity, right? And the passive income comes from the methods of affiliate marketing and digital products. Now that's the income part of it, right? And I focus mainly on the opportunities for passive income and the passive part comes in after you put your systems in place online okay you set up there's a lot of setup involved but you can learn it I mean if I can learn it you can learn it guys um, I showed up here you know after kind of going through a situation with my work and it opened my eyes just by being here with a different frame of mind when I was looking. And I have this information in my presentation. I always put it in the comments. It's a Google Doc. And I just sort of go through the material that I'm going through. I always offer a free um, lead magnet or a PDF, a free PDF for you, sort of covering the subject that I'm talking about and I always have a link to my Facebook group which is where you're gonna learn in more detail about the things I cover on my lives so I'll put that in now of course right if you're watching here on TikTok and you're interested you're gonna need to jump into the Facebook group because that's where I have all the details guys all the deets but in this sort of time to just chat live with you um, that's all it is. We chat. I cover a couple of, um, I, co I kind of cover a presentation, but it's very fluid. I'm casual, even in my interaction in my Facebook group. I'm very um, supportive, assuring, but, you know, nothing uptight. So, back to the beginning, right? I'm Eli Mahong, and... I came to this point where I always I always have this message for you on my on my live regardless of when this message finds you I'm a big believer in serendipity in the energy matter the energy around us that actually brings us together right and we meet at the right place in the right time every single time there is a reason why we meet and we come across each other okay so my story is such that I'm 52 years old 
I'm a mother of two young adult kids. They're kind of in college now. I've been married 23 years to a wonderful husband. Um, I have 30 plus years experience in business. I really started in human resources in the financial industry and in the health industry. And then I moved into education. Worked my way up the ladder, if you could say, to be um, an administrator. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it, right? Um, worked with students um, more in the teenage years and their parents and then the community, right? And that seemed to be my life's calling and I was good at it. I mean, still am, but that was sort of my journey, right? And I took all the classes and I took the certifications to be um, the best I could be yeah? and the most qualified that I could be to represent the profession and be an education administrator. Um, and if any of you know about education, it was pretty gnarly the last two years, yeah, with COVID and the challenges and everybody felt with the challenges in their own line of work. Um, however, I do feel that the public education really struggled. Um, we struggled for a number of reasons and without getting into it too much i mean i think it has to do really with the system too i think it's such a large organization and then to pivot and be flexible and be responsive to the changing environment which was a pandemic um it was difficult it was difficult to move um this large body of of an industry of education but we tried we tried our best and you know teachers struggled because we had to learn how to instruct and inform online okay whereas even if if you were in your classroom and even if you dabbled a little bit with technology and in, introduced your students to a little bit of technology there is no way you were prepared to learn how to instruct fully online right sometimes asynchronous just fully online and Many, many tried and many succeeded. Many, many, many of our teachers and, and support staff and administrators didn't do very well with it. So regardless of that, we persevered, right? And we came to the point where we were able to welcome the students back, you know, after things were safer and they were in classes and in the, um, on campus. Um, but things were not the same, right? They were not how it was prior to us experiencing that. And we had a whole bunch of social issues and other uh, social emotional learning issues. Okay, however, my point to that is, even if you commit and invest and have really good intention about the career you're in and the line of work you're in, if you are working for someone else, you are still at the mercy of them making decisions and them maybe even um yeah ultimately making decisions about you and your job and so that's what happened to me and i was informed not included i was informed that my job was changing my setting was going to change even i viewed it as my purpose changing um and that was allowed right and by the employer and i had no input whatsoever and I had to take that information and just come to terms with it right and I had to do a deep deep dive into making sure that I could be resilient right and I could come out stronger and if not stronger at least enable ability to cope with the stress of learning that um, and then I had to be a role model for my family. Like I said, I have a husband and I have two young adult children, um, but their priority, as, as wonderful as this is and sounds, their priority is me, right? And if they felt in any shape or form that one day, you know, that a decision was made and one day, sorry, um, they found out that something changed for me, they're worrying and they're making sure that I'm okay. So I had to be that role model for them, right? And I had to tell them, yeah, I'm okay. But I had to 
really ground myself with three questions that I've sort of repeated in many of these lives here. And the three questions are, who am I? I had to know in my core that I was worthy of, of a wonderful life. Um, I was not deserving of someone else's scrutiny and um, mismanagement of me. Okay, number two, I had to know and to some extent, who are they, right? Are they important to me? I had to ask myself that. And maybe with that reflection, I was able to sort of stand up taller, even though things were changing around me and almost appearing to crumble around me. And then the third most important question was, really, what were my priorities, right? What, what are my blessings? And that are those blessings include my health, right? my relationships and the third thing that no one can take from you just like those two things but no one can take from you was my capacity right my ability to learn new things my ability to innovate and change things around in my own life okay so when I got that revelation and I took that to heart then I was able to move forward and so then I chose like maybe many of you I chose to kind of scroll on social media and I found the accounts and the people who are talking about making money online and there were many accounts um, and what I gravitated to was the idea of creating an online business and creating passive income through that right through this online um, venue then over time I realized through my own self-development and working with a very good mentor and trainer in a program I found within myself that I have knowledge and information that I can share okay and I can share it in the form of digital products or I can share it in the form of um, webinars and training and then I also learned about affiliate marketing which is another phenomenal uh, method of earning income online so fast forward that's about seven months of a journey and here I am and found a way to share this story with many of you here online and it resonates with many with many 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 people and so I thought okay well you know what I'm gonna speak to me the person I was just seven months ago and try to help that person and I did that by coming up with these sort of quick live story time and as well as information so I put together a quick uh, presentation on the five things women over 50 should do to prepare for retirement. Okay, how do they keep walking through the inevitable, right? The, the day that they don't have to or they can't work anymore. And, you know, how do you equip yourself to make that journey as livable, exciting, joyful, um, you know hopeful as it can be so the first thing we all need to talk about is start a retirement savings plan okay ladies start it there's no easier time than today to get get on Google and look up Vanguard look up um, Schwab look up um, oh, I just had that off the tip of my tongue well there's several options I use Vanguard I'm not paid by them at all to say that but I've been using Vanguard for years I have um, I've rolled my 401k over to Vanguard when I was done with the human resources job and I turned that into an IRA I opened Roth IRAs for myself my husband and my children opened it after they were beginning to earn money in their part-time jobs and I'm a huge believer in these very practical very simple steps of of investing that way and starting your savings plan and I can't emphasize enough how easy it is now to do that with your mobile apps and all and I told my kids who are older and they have their Roth I said there's no easier way than to assign twenty dollars a week or a hundred dollars a month out of your checking account to your Roth or to your savings long-term savings then you can do it now like in the past we'd have to uh, what do you call that wire that money or we'd have to set it up in our accounts and have it 
you know, direct deposited, go to the bank and get that all communicated properly and then set up. But today you don't, okay? Then another thing you need to do is to review your social security benefits. You know, knowing exactly how much you'll receive in social security benefits each month after a certain age can help you plan your retirement budget, okay? It's, it's actually something you need to um, understand, right? Go to irs.gov, that's, that's the main site for you to go and start to learn about it. Um, you'll also get statements from the IRS that tells you um, what you are projected to earn when you are a certain age and there's different ages and different tiers that you learn about this, okay? Um, the next thing to really consider to get yourself ready is insurances, right? What insurance plans do you have? Is there term insurance? That's where you just have an insurance plan that you set up maybe a while ago and it stops at a certain term. Maybe it was 15 years, 20 years, or 30 years. You see what you did there? And then did you pick up any long-term care insurance? And a lot of people think like, um, you know, I don't, I'm not gonna need it and that sort of thing, but if there's a strong likelihood that expenses for your health and your overall living expenses as it relates to your health, expenses are gonna increase. Um, and a long-term care insurance policy could help cover those costs. And again, I'm not an insurance broker. I'm not a, I don't, I don't do those things, but you could probably call your car insurance company and see if they have those things or they have a affiliate um, company that does that or talk to your friends and see who, where they have it. And another good person to ask is your doctor. Honestly, you can ask your doctor, who do they use? You know, you don't need to get the same plan that he or she has, but you could get a plan and you at least could speak to someone. You can ask the nurses. You can even ask your dentist. So these are people you trust and have have had some sort of advising because they're in a, a little professional um, kind of career. And that's how you could get information there. Um, a fourth way for you to prepare for retirement fierce women over 50 is to look around your own home and see if you could downsize a bit and downsizing is really just um i'm not saying dive into the whole minimalist lifestyle but having less things that are of less value you know really don't have the value to you today than they had years ago um donating selling or just trashing it you know if it's not useful anymore to even anybody else could free up space not only in your home but in your head yeah clutter just kind of affects us in so many different ways like not just the fact that there's clutter in the house but it help it affects you emotionally and mentally too but if you could downsize even if you changed your home environment and you downsize from your larger home to a smaller home um, You'd have to look into that and get the information. Again, this is very um, general, but they're just tips, right? They're just kind of meant to sort of put some reminders in your mind. Um, and when you come across people who are in that line of work, then ask, yeah, ask them, what's the market like? You know, what, what are people doing in my age, you know? People that you serve, you know, if you're a mortgage broker or if you were a realtor or if you're a, if you're talking to even your dentist, right, then you can just ask. Um, and last, the fifth thing for you to consider fierce women over 50 is your health, right? Let's make our health a priority. After giving so much to our families, to our marriage, to our community, right? The last four decades, four or more decades for you have been all about giving. And you might not have taken the time to care for yourself, but it's not too late, okay? It's not too late to take some very simple steps and help your overall health, right? Um, including walking or being a little more conscious about what you eat or if you can take on some wellness practices, meditation or just general breathing, 
stretching, yoga, you know, there are just a host of things and they don't cost a lot of money. You don't have to always, you know, think that that's going to be breaking your budget and though you can't focus on yourself. No way. No way. I'm here to tell you, please don't, don't think that that's what you have to do. But putting yourself in your health, which would include, right, wellness practices, um, medical screenings, right, talking to your doctor, having your annual this and your annual that, including dental, you know, checkups, um, all of that is all possibly included in your insurance and you need to take advantage of that. Um, hey, um, Sammy Lax. So I'm just chatting here. I'm on Facebook and I'm on here with you. In about 10 minutes, I'm just going to be on TikTok and I'm going to be talking about this further. So on Facebook, I have put in the comments the presentation that I'm sharing. And if you're watching here on TikTok, in, on TikTok, you can get that presentation in my Facebook group. You can see it here on the banner behind me. Go ahead and join, join the group, and then you get access to this, the materials that I cover in my lives. And then I have free training in there about creating that passive income stream for yourself. So I'm going to add five ways to soar your finances into the new year. Oh, guys, this is so possible for all of us. I'm going to put that in the comments too. It's a PDF. You can open it and download it to your drive and you have access to it just like that. That's why this is incredible. And then I'll also in, include access to my Facebook group, Essential Digital Biz with Amy Mahong. So while we are on that subject of, you know, just putting our finger on the financial security and future for ourselves you know women over 50 or women in their 40s in their 50s you know you come to the point where you realize that I might have less time in front of me than I had behind me okay so what am I gonna do with the next few decades that I I'm not promised it but I could have it and how am I gonna make those next few decades just fierce and fabulous like I am Okay, how do I put things in place like creating another stream of income even while I keep my nine to five? Okay, you can find a sliver of time in your day and just schedule it for learning how to set up your own passive income online business. And the reason why I um, support and I talk about an online business is because face it this technology is not going anywhere actually this technology is pretty much leaving a lot of us behind it's just soaring right it's just growing and innovating and providing more comfort and convenience for us more opportunity for us to connect easier more opportunity for us to share information learn from one another so the, all of that is available here online now you have to learn some systems, but you you can learn it. I learned it, okay? Um, there's a lot of advice out there, but you need to have three things, right? In, in learning how to start preparing and building your own online business, you need to have good training of a proven strategy, okay? And that could be training around affiliate marketing and or digital products. So. I provide information on in my Facebook group about both. And then the second thing you need is a teacher whose style and teaching style and communication and um, approach works for you, okay? So you're gonna see a lot of courses out here, especially on TikTok, I see it all the time. A lot of $7 courses out here, um, but you might jump into it and then find out that you're not, you know, jiving with this person who's teaching, right? Like you're not liking it or you're not, or they talk too fast. You're not getting it right away. And I'm in education, so I know the learning um, styles 
are different with each person. And you can't always differentiate as a teacher. I know you can't always differentiate as a teacher coming across a recorded training. So when you're a student and you kind of start to listen to this teacher and their training and you're motivated because you want to learn, right, affiliate marketing or digital products or just in general what an online business is, well, you'll kind of know in the first five minutes or 15 minutes or so if you, if you can, if you like the way the person teaches, right? It's not only visual, but it's how they sound, you know, what words do they use to articulate the lesson? And so, and what materials are they offering is, are the materials in the interface of the classroom or the course room? Is it something you understand? Can you navigate it, right? So all of those things are important and I have that information in my Facebook group and we talk about that there. Okay, and then the third thing that's important is having a community, okay? And that's why Facebook groups offer this time in a group who are learning. Maybe they're not learning the exact same program as you. Maybe they've chosen another program in the group, but the learning and the experience and the opportunity to um, communicate your learning and maybe even the challenges you're going through, you can check in with that group and ask a quick question, right? How many of you are doing this? You know, I'm thinking I'm going to do this. What does that sound like to you? And you're going to get a lot of engagement and response. And it's especially from me. So we can connect that way too. And those are the three things you need. Okay. So I wrap up here on Facebook. Again, I'm Emily Mahong. I talk about passive income and positivity. I have my Facebook group, uh, Essential Digital Biz with Emily Mahong. I have TikTok and uh, a YouTube channel, Instagram as well, but you know, so do you, so do all of you. I'm not trying to brag about it, but I'm, I've created these social media accounts so that I can connect with people where they're at, right? Our fierce women over 50 may not all be here on Facebook, may not all be there on TikTok or Instagram or even YouTube, like all of them. So I've just been able to have a common message and a theme that runs through all of my accounts and hope that that helps, you know, those who are connecting on those platforms. And go ahead in the comments here, let me know if you're watching live or the replay. Let me know if you used any of the PDFs or the presentation that I have on there and if it's been helpful, right? The feedback I get from you can help me tailor the information I provide right now, I'm just general. But when I get some real feedback like, oh, I really like to learn more about affiliate marketing, then I respond in my Facebook group to make sure that that sort of is addressed. Okay? Thanks so much, everyone. I really enjoy this time together. Again, I, I'm showing up three times a week, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursdays. Starting next week after Christmas, it'll be 1 p.m. Eastern. And, um, but until then, you just got to watch here for the actual times that I do it. And um, I'm going to sign off here. And thanks so much.